Kendrick Lamar kind of dropped a bomb on more so our community. I don't know if it hit like in in the regular world, but in the uh, regular world, it was like this. All right, like, yeah. what is this? He, I think people was trying to still say that he still diss Drake, but at the same time, it was like he coming at it the industry because yeah, he dropped it right at the same time as the VMA started. Yeah, so it's yeah. like he's going at the industry. So, but he mentioned Lecrae and D One, mm-hmm. so that kind of puts him in our world. So let's see, uh, wh- who's this young man? Um, his name is Jeremy H. I forgot his name. Last name, but he works with um Elliot Wilson and DJ Head, who is um Kendrick's guy. Yeah. Um, at, they have a show, but he was talking. He does stuff with Hip Hop DX. Okay. All right. Let's see what he did. He basically did a no, dissect. No, he's actually yeah. praying to God. He's praying to have his words be potent and his thoughts be clear, but also praying for forgiveness for what he just did. He doesn't necessarily feel like he's living to his moral standard by going into the mud with the battle. Some of the things that he was saying about Drake, the accusations, this isn't something that maybe Kendrick felt completely comfortable. Now he said the result sometimes needs violence, but on the third verse here, when he questions what would Lecrae do, what would D1 do, Lecrae is a Christian rapper who he did comment on this battle recently saying that Drake would never be able to win because Kendrick is so of the culture, whereas Drake is merely a spectator of it. But also when I spoke to Lecrae on the Grammy red carpet, I asked him about Kendrick and he said he's somewhat of a spiritual mentor to him. So I'm sure Kendrick has these conversations with Lecrae. And D1, who's a Christian rapper, has been a heavy advocate for no beef at all and said that this battle really isn't doing anything for the culture. Now this part, Kendrick critiques the media. The radio personality pushing propaganda for salary. Let me know when they turn up as a casualty. I want agony. Assault and battery, I see a new earth. Now, he could be talking about a lot of people. There are definitely streamers, podcasters, and media personalities who, no matter what's happening, will maintain the same stance. And I think Kendrick is calling out the integrity in the space. But what's more interesting to me than that is the next bar. He references, (laughs) after we cleanse things, kind of like Noah's Ark flooding, there's going to be a new earth. I see a new earth filled with beautiful people making humanity work. Now, a new earth is a biblical reference, but it also is referenced to an Eckhart Tolle book called A New Earth, which is a book about awakening to your life's purpose. Now, we know the role that Eckhart Tolle played on Kendrick's Mr. Morale album, but I think this is Kendrick coming to terms with what he feels his purpose is on this planet. I think spiritually and musically, Kendrick is headed in a direction where he's going to be referencing God a lot more in his music. He's always had biblical references and referenced religion and faith, but I think this was really his heart part six. Drake might have stolen the title, but this is what Kendrick does before he drops a a project. He'll let you know his state of where he's at mentally and where he's hoping to go and what the music that you'll hear is about to be. And I truly believe that Kendrick is headed in a direction maybe even closer to he said yeah, even more like Lecrae. Lecrae. Yeah, I was like, it's like interesting. Um, so he said a lot there. So Kendrick put out a song um, where he said a lot of stuff about the industry, like Jeremiah said. And then at the end, he said, what will Lecrae do? I want to be more like D1. And then it's like, it actually blanks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what he said yeah. in that section. <laughs> Um, I think he was just pausing for effect. No, no, he no. He, said they, they removed lyrics like yeah. back in the yeah. day with Biggie yeah. in the World Trade Center. Like they, they <laughs> cut out. I don't lyrics. care if you're pregnant. So when somebody when too. when a unedited song is edited, <laughs> he says something yeah. crazy. Yeah, so, right, yeah. um, w- so it it you know raised the alarm of everybody in the CHH world, Christian hip hop world, because uh, he mentioned Lecrae and D One who. I think we already knew that he knew these people, but mm-hmm. for him to say Christian rappers by name on a song was like, oh, snap, they know who we are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes <laughs> it feels like our our world, this Christian hip-hop world, is kind of hidden from mainstream hip-hop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's starting to not be. What did you think of hearing Kendrick mention Lecrae and D1? I thought it was, I thought it was um, a big shout-out to, um, you know, give recognition to the art that they do, right? I thought it was interesting um, when he mentioned Lecrae and D1 back to back like that because of the issue that they had earlier. I don't know if he knows that. Well, I know, but I'm saying I just thought, in my mind, I said, ooh, I wonder if this gets a conversation going about not having um, combative conversations uh, on social media, you know, against the other, right? It was like, I wonder what Lecrae would do. Um, so to me, I was like, that's interesting that he kind of almost called that out 
that we've been that we all have been kind of like struggling with in our own community. I don't think he knows anything about. He that. He doesn't have to, but I'm just saying. In my mind, that's mm-hmm. what brought that's what came to mind when I was just like, "Oh snap!" Like both names said together when they were going back and forth on social media, um, and the irony of what this person would do is almost kind of like, "Let me check, let me check that scenario." Right? What what, what should I have done in this situation? If I'm Lecrae, that's all I'm saying. If I'm the one, just just in my opinion, that's what I got. But anyway, I thought it was cool. Um, it's always interesting when you think that somebody is um, from another, you know, uh, I guess level of music or a level of you know situation, um, kind of looks at you and says something about it. Like I think we kind of felt, you know, there was a there could have been a rub against Line for Line when Eminem did his song and he said I'm tired of all these video vlogs comparing me and all this kind of stuff so it's like it's interesting to think that they are kind of in the space of listening and knowing what's going on when we think they have no idea I mean they're human beings and they and, are and, but and you got family I remember when Dizzle said years ago he's like yo man my people seen they saw a line for line they saw Rick Ross and all this stuff so yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, you can, you can easily find stuff from people. And yeah, stuff yeah, like you'll that be so. Yeah. I, I think what Ryan is getting at is that we would have never imagined anybody would have known anything about what we do here. Yeah, yeah. but we hear yeah. things here and there where, like you said, it's not the main person who found it. It's like their cousin or they their yeah. homeboy will send the video to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so there are people in the industry who've heard about what we do here, but they don't talk about it. Yeah. This is the first time, well, not the first time, but this is one of the main times where. Christian hip hop was being public by the biggest artists at the time. Yeah, publicly discussed. Um, yeah. That's interesting. The other, you know? the other thing I thought about when I heard it was I, I bet Joe Budden's face was like dropping when he heard it. Like, oh, this guy. Now nah, I actually got to <laughs> deal with D One. <laughs> yeah, got to actually have him up on your show. But, like but, I've been but, saying. But, but, Respond, bro. <laughs> but I, I think this is an interesting time frame because I feel like okay, so what is? Because the mainstream world, just to be honest, is still on. The foolishness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still on the foolishness. So, if he goes in this direction, I think a few people may go with him, but not everybody, to be real. Like, and I'm not saying... You think Kendrick is going in the Christian hip-hop No, I'm not saying... I don't think he's going to Christian hip-hop. He may be going spiritual. I do believe that they're they're going to use Kendrick to open up um, a new era of hip-hop. You know what I mean? A new age of hip-hop. And what I mean by that, meaning like more ways, artists, literally, <laughs> like more artists like him, more artists that have that 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 spiritual depth of not consciousness, but more like like let's do better. We got to do better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kind of like D one almost. You know what I'm saying? Like like that stuff streets. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, more spiritual things. Yeah, yeah. Synchronism. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, but I do think that trying to figure that out with him, though, because I feel like. If they're pushing him to be that, I just th- I think we're just so far gone, bro. Like I think it's it's so ratchet right now, <laughs> in the in the hip hop culture, that I think it's not like it's not gonna work. It's not yeah, gonna change anybody's. Yeah, now no, they, who is they? The, the industry. I the think that the, the industry inside the industry. Some people could be like, like I I I I, I came up with a conclusion. This is just a conspiracy. J exclusive. I think the Carters sent him to do that to Drake. You think mm. the Carters yeah. sent Kendrick to eliminate Drake? Yep. Yep. Mm. Oh, wow. That's definitely conspiracy. That's Tell a conspiracy. Us more. Yeah. <laughs> There's a link I saw it where um, this gentleman broke down the difference so how, me, between I... Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big camera right there. <laughs> she said, what you mean by that, bro? So she very, needs to click. It's a very <laughs> big camera than yours. She needs to click. <laughs> on our social media. But uh, what I'm saying is, it's a. It's a, it's a, it's a I could, I'm gonna find it and I'll put it in our chat. But basically, it's basically how um, Jay Z and um, and it's like I said, this is a conspiracy. Jay Z and Drake um, back and forth and over the years, and how like Drake, like it came out recently. Elliot Wilson said that Drake was supposed to do the Super Bowl and he turned it down twice, mm. and that's under Jay Z's watch. And then also another thing was he helped on the Renaissance album. But then right before Renaissance dropped, he dropped that album where it was like a kind of a dance hall, not dance hall, it was kind of like a um, um, EDM um, um, house music, kind of like, and they kind of wasn't feeling that because he kind of like sidetracked them. And I was, and it, it was it was said at the time with the beef with uh, Meek Mill that that was, it was supposed to be Meek Mill, but it didn't turn out well. And then it was supposed to be Cole, but Cole was like, that's my guy, you know what I'm saying? So that's just, the, it's, the r- rumors and like that, but 
It could be. It could be true. I don't know. But uh, but all I'm saying is this. At the end of the day, I just think we're so far gone that certain mm-hmm. people will ride with Kendrick in, in this new direction if it's like... Because we're seeing... This has been the... And honestly, I think we always talk about Lecrae's anomaly time being the best time for Christian hip-hop. But mm-hmm. to me, right now, it feels like more Christian hip-hoppers are getting opportunities like never before. Well, I, I'm just a little concerned because I don't want anybody to get ex- so excited about this because who cares? I'm not. Kanye <laughs> who cares? Kanye killed it. Who cares if Kendrick mentions you in a song? Like, honestly, like, who cares? And I think I, they I, do. Well, there's I think a, they do. Yeah. Why, but if there's a reason why we care. But if I, found, if I find myself caring about that, I would try to not care because, like, it doesn't actually matter. Sean, yeah, if he does. had a rhyme, it does. If, he, if he had a rhyme that said, um, I'm, I'm, if he said I'm paraphrasing If he said something like Yo I got the peers I gotta check out my man Sean Grant On the Wonder Years You would be like It's 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 alarming <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's I'll not alarming But what I But I'm even Even to hear I would still want to come on here And be like I don't want That shouldn't change anything That's TMZ going on TMZ would call you nah, that's Just like how they deal. did D1 And they'd be like Hey man, you want to talk about this? I think a benefit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about in your heart. It shouldn't matter. It it shouldn't. shouldn't, But I mean, and I'm not just talking about Lecrae and D1. I mean, this affects them more than anyone. I'm talking about everyone else. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It shouldn't matter that much, right? No, it does. I I mean, because it mattered to me when Lecrae won his Grammy. That mattered. You know what I mean? Like, do you this see is, this as like a, a group success thing? I, think I do big, because. I think but why does Kendrick but, mentioning you mean success? Like, but it doesn't mean success. It means people are paying attention. And now, if he's the biggest artist in in, in hip hop, it means that people who didn't know the name Lecrae, which Lecrae is the only Lecrae we know, now can, <laughs> you know know that name. I mean, he's the only Lecrae. That's real. Um, and then everybody knows mostly D One because of the whole situation where he's. Yeah. always going live and, and everything else so to me it's like what if they start looking for more conscious I think that's what, what I'm going to say but I think that's what we think is going to happen yeah. that's what, what we want that, to happen what, what, yeah. I'm going to say but, well, what well, Kendrick, but what Kendrick wants to happen is what Eckhart Tolle is <laughs> trying to make that's happen. what I'm going to say so it's two two sides of this from a Christian hip hop artist when the, when the most popular artist in the world mentions your name in the song you're going to feel good about yeah, of it. Of course. And then we saw that Lecrae was uh, trending on yeah, Twitter so was, and other places. So, up. like, more How people was trending, more yeah. people were looking up who is Lecrae, who is Kendrick talking about. Because now, when he says something, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold weight because yeah. he's the guy right now. Um, yeah. But on the flip side of it is, like, kind of what you're saying, we st- we've talked about the stuff that he believes for the Eckhart Toll, the Christ consciousness, and things of that nature. My my heart's desire is for one, like we said, more people will say, okay, we see who Lecrae is. Are there any more guys that make this kind of music? And more artists that we know in our space that are super talented will get recognition. Also, I pray that there's also real fruit that's happening mm-hmm. with that relationship between Lecrae and Kendrick to the point where he may come out of the Christ consciousness and more into yeah. being yeah. Christ-like. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody knows the heart of man, so I don't want to condemn the man but we know as of right now some of the things that he said is kind of country mm-hmm. not of not of what we say so i can't say he's a brother in the faith mm-hmm. but i pray and hope and believe that the effect that d and yeah. lecrae are having on him that yeah. eventually he yeah. will become so one of the brothers pray for lecrae pray for d1 because right now it seems like at least they have uh his ear mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so maybe yeah. you know god could work through that relationship and something could change to where because i mean clearly eckhart tolle has his ear so I would rather hit Lecrae and D1 have his ear <laughs> yeah, than Eckhart exactly. Tolle. Exactly. Go back to our previous video if you want to know more.